Welcome back to WTL 11 Your Day Cake. Who doesn't love it? But with all the indulging we're doing this holiday season, what if you can get that tasty goodness in a smaller than snack size? Brianna Stewart from Jarrah's Heavenly Sweet has that recipe today. Good morning. Good morning, Amanda. Well, happy holidays. It is the season to just eat all the sweets. Oh, so good. And you've got a great recipe for us this morning. I do. I'm going to make cake balls for us. All and right. these are the homemade cake balls that are really moist and delicious. Mm. What makes a good cake ball is to have a little bit of buttercream frosting in it. So I have mm. my chocolate cake that I've already ripped up. You can just rip it up with your hands or put it in a blender. Or if you have a, uh, a food processor, you can do mm -hmm. that. If not, you just rip it up and you rip it up. Mash. Get out some aggression. Rip up that cake. <laughs> that aunt who said something a little shady at Thanksgiving, get it out <laughs> on these cake balls. <laughs> exactly. So then you you said you put it then in the food processor, uh, kind of yes. chop it up, put into smaller of pieces, and yep. then you're adding mm. frosting. Yes, mm. a little bit of frosting. Okay. And then once you get it all incorporated really well, you just scoop out a tablespoon a tablespoon uh, mm -hmm. spoon measuring. And you just put it in your hand and, and roll it up into a nice little ball. Okay. So roll and roll and roll. Ooh, it might not hold together for me. If you add too much, it'll get a little bit gummy, which is not as nice of you a don't want that. Feel, so yeah. No. Start so you got to get it kind of just right. Yeah. So st okay. absolutely. Good tip there. Start small. Then, add more if you need it. You don't want too much to that. start. Absolutely. You put that on a plate. Mm -hmm. um, and once you've rolled out all your cake balls, you're going to take them and put them into the freezer okay. uh, for about 20 or 30 minutes to let them get cold. Mm -hmm. What this will do is make them firm enough to be able to handle and dip them into your chocolate. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. so once you do that, I'm going to move all this stuff over here. And magically, you have now, now your uh, chilled cake Four. balls. <laughs> Yes, my movie magic. Yes, yes. <laughs> so take a toothpick, okay. and you're going to stick it into the bottom of one of your cake balls. You can okay. choose whatever side you want that to be. Mm -hmm. Then you'll take your already melted uh, chocolates, and these are melting chocolates. These are not chocolate chips. They're melting chocolates okay. you can find at Walmart or Michael's, and they melt down really well and super easily for you. So you'll want to look for that on the package, melting chocolates. Okay. Yes. All right. Is that white Give chocolate that you're using there? Yes, I think white chocolate is mm -hmm. just so cute for Christmassy stuff. It's you know? pretty, and then with the chocolate cake, yum. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you take your toothpick, stick it mm -hmm. in the, one of the prongs of the fork, uh -huh. you pull out your toothpick, and then slide it onto a plate. Ooh, and beautiful. this is when you get creative and cute. Mm -hmm. Take some sprinkles, sprinkle it on top. Um, you also have some, I have some black chocolate here, so if you mm -hmm. want to do a little drizzle on top, you can do that as well. But that is basically the gist of cake it. balls. Oh, okay. That's, you know, that's a lot yeah. easier than I would have guessed. So much easier. And, and we, we do so many of these at the bakery. We do, <laughs> I don't know, a few hundred of them. Oh, okay. Uh, as well as other cookies and candies. So you can stop by and get all the uh, lemon bars and mm. cake balls and uh, candy pecans and seven layer bars and all kinds of things we do. We're big Christmassy people, as you can tell from my apron. Um, so we love to go big. Yeah, and you know, a lot of us, we're really busy. We love the, the treats and some of us aren't great bakers. I mean, baking takes a certain knack. So sometimes you just have to leave it up to the professionals. <laughs> and we would love to do all your holiday baking for you. And maybe you try crazy. and you mess it up and then you need a bailout. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we're here. That's no problem. We'll handle that for you. <laughs> do you guys take orders ahead of time? Do you recommend doing that sort of thing? Yes, absolutely. Get your orders in as soon as possible. We fill up very quickly as we learned from mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. It was insane yeah. in the best way. Um, but get your orders in as soon as possible. We do cakes, we do pies, we do decorated cookies. All of the holiday things you can think of, we do them. And you can not have to worry about doing it yourself. Let uh, Jarrah's Heavenly Sweets take some of that off your plate. But this could be a really yeah. fun activity for the kids to do too. Um, you know, get together with the, with the family and, and decorate them. And then that way they don't have to necessarily be perfect. And then that's where you go and, and find you guys and you'll hook it up. <laughs> Absolutely. Making it a little messy. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Kids love that sort of thing. All right. So just uh, for people who want to make those orders, do they just give you guys a call, stop by the store? Yes, you can call or stop in either way. Mm -hmm. I don't suggest emailing us. We might miss it. Okay. So stop in or call. Um, our phone number is listed online. If you Google us, mm -hmm. our address is there. All the information you need is there. And you can contact us. And we'll have a merry little Christmas together. Yes. Uh, and a very happy holiday to you as well right now. Uh, Brianna, enjoy those cake balls. Recipe is online for people who want to try that out at home. Thanks for joining us this morning.